Whenever you see a beast whale or a seal, I mean, whenever he's on his back, pause up. I think that's Carl. He'll do anything to get comfortable. Yeah, no boundaries for Carl. But the puppies really tuck him. They climb all over him, they bite his ears, they bite his jowls, and he doesn't seem to mind at all. He's the best big brother. He really changes people's minds in terms of what they think about when they hear the word pit bull. His head muscles are kind of contracting and creating this weird pyramid. So apparently, it's totally healthy and normal and fine. The vet told us very nonchalantly that his head was deteriorating. <laughs> attached to the shoulder, but sometimes she doesn't always want to get out of it. <laughs> I call it her little princess chair again. I said, we can't keep her, so do you want to take her home? And I realized she's not going anywhere. <laughs> she's a beach babe. She can run along the water's edge. It's always been our zen time together. She wanted to be really close to me and she was whimpering. The next morning, when she got up, she couldn't stand up. So I immediately brought her to the vet. It changed from just going like on a regular dog walk to scheduling physical therapy. She's always had this really strong will to live. Come on, Nutmeg. I think 
her to reach that person here, and I think it really made her sad. She just ran around smelling everything, digging holes in the sand. What really motivated her to pull herself forward and even stand up at times and use her hind legs, the beach has been our saving grace, for sure. I've even taken the stroller and dragged it onto the beach. I'll do anything for her. Just knowing that, you know, I have her and that she's okay means the world to me.